Sheikh Mohammed bin Hamad Al Thani joins mourners in Brazil as he bids farewell to Pele. Qatar is unlikely to be hit by an upcoming recession in 2023, experts tell Doha News. There's a new social insurance law and here's all you need to know. And finally, could Cristiano Ronaldo's dream to play in Europe still become a reality? Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Qatar's Sheikh Mohammed bin Hamad Al Thani has paid his tribute to late footballer Pele in Brazil. The managing director of the World Cup's organizing committee attended the funeral, where he was pictured by Pele's open coffin. Known as the king of football, Pele was diagnosed with colon cancer in November and passed away last week. At the funeral, FIFA president Gianni Infantino said he will talk with every country in the world to name a stadium after Pele. Now, the International Monetary Fund warned of a looming recession this year. The UN body said the recession is expected to hit a third of the world in 2023 due to the ongoing Ukraine-Russia war as well as a slowdown in major economies such as the US, Europe and China. However, economy analysts who spoke to Doha News said Qatar is expected to be safe. For more analysis, head over to our website. Now, Qatar's Social Insurance Authority has announced a new law will come into effect from Tuesday. The new law will alter current percentages of salary when it comes to Qatari citizens as well as their housing allowances and pension salaries. For the entire list of changes, head over to our website on www.dohanews.co. And finally, in somewhat stunning news, a major detail in Cristiano Ronaldo's multi-million pound per year Al Nasser contract has been revealed. According to Spanish media, the footballing megastar would contractually be allowed to move to Newcastle United in the summer should they qualify for the next season of the UEFA Champions League. This bodes well for the Portuguese footballer who has been keen on playing in Europe after his dramatic Manchester United exit. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.